Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to start with linked list. So the uh, like the flow in which we'll be studying linked list is as follows. First of all, we'll be studying introduction to linked list. Then we'll be studying creation of linked list. Then we'll be studying traversal of linked list. Then insertion in linked list. So uh, there, there could be three possibilities in insertion. At the beginning, after a given node, we have to insert a node or at the end uh, and then we'll be going to learn deletion in linked list delete from start delete from any given position and delete from the end of the linked list so after doing all of this so this is our basic linked list implementation which we'll be learning and after when we are done with this then we'll be starting with practice questions right so uh, if you follow along the linked list playlist uh, i am i'm like sure that you will have a like strong grip on linked list after this playlist and it will surely help you so uh, stay uh, stay along and tag along so in today uh, in this video we'll be uh, we'll be seeing what is linked list right introduction to linked list so let's see what is linked list so first of all before learning linked list we'll be learning we'll be uh, seeing what are arrays right we know what are arrays right so if you uh, do not know arrays or have not practiced question on arrays i will recommend array playlist uh, I'll, I'll share the link in the description so in the arrays what in an array what happens suppose we have an array right in uh, in this array suppose we have 20 30 40 and 50 right and if we do indexing like this 0 1 2 3 and suppose let's say in the memory this this element uh, this uh, element is at like address like suppose it's at 4000 right so now since this is integer so the next address means the address of this will be 4000 and 4 right 4000 and 4 so that means this will take 4 bytes right then after that this will be 4008 and this will be 40 12 right so basically in arrays what happens when we are uh, like there is contiguous memory allocation what is there contiguous memory allocation means all the elements in an array are are like contiguous they are next to each other right in the memory they will be contiguous 4000 then 4004 then 4008 then 4012 right but on contrary on contrary what happens in linked list in linked list it is non contiguous right it is non contiguous non contiguous so for example if we have suppose a uh, value 20 in linked list suppose this is as uh, this is at address uh, 2000 then the next value the 30 could be anywhere in the memory it is not necessary that it will be at 2004 no it could be at 2004 or it could be at 5000 any any address means that they, they are not contiguous they could be anywhere in the memory they are linked together right they are linked together like 30 will be linked to 40 then 40 will be linked to 50 in this way right so 20 is linked to 30 30 is linked to 40 and 40 is linked to 50 so in linked list they are non contiguous so basically in linked list we have the next pointers we have the next pointers like we have the connections which connect these values there are connections right so basically uh, let's now see the advantages and disadvantages of linked list right so if we have linked list let's let's see what are the advantages of linked list advantages first advantage is dynamic size what do you mean by this dynamic size see dynamic size means uh, like in array suppose i'm initializing an array int array 5 means it will be of five size right 
array it will be of five size 0 1 2 3 and 4 five size and if I add an element after like uh, if I add element at fifth index it will give me out of bound right but in linked list what happens that it, it does not have have any uh, size constraint right so we can have as many nodes we want right there could be as many nodes so dynamic size then another advantage in linked list is easy insertion and deletion easy insertion and deletion right this we will see how it is easy uh, in linked list when we'll be learning insertion and deletion but basically if we uh, like if we talk about arrays right if we talk about arrays suppose uh, i have these values in the array and i want to delete three so if i want to delete three element third uh, three uh, element then i have to shift these elements one position to left right like this so this will be like o of n right but basically in linked list this procedure is like comparatively easy so it's easy insertion and deletion in linked list so we have seen two advantages of linked list one it's dynamic size like there could be infinite size of linked list there's no constraint on the size and the second one is easy insertion and deletion right now let's see the disadvantages of linked list disadvantages so disadvantages let's take an array now in array if i want to get element at index uh, 2 so i'll just write array 2 and i'll get the value 3 so random access means random if i want to have any value uh, like random at random index like at 3 index i can get it easily right i can just uh, i can just access it through the index random access is easy is possible right is possible but in linked list in linked list we have connections right our values are connected like 1 2 3 4 they are connected but if we want to access this third value we can't access it there is no indexing right there is no indexing in linked list no indexing so we can't write like linked list name and then the index we can't write like this so if we want to get this value we have to traverse through the linked list and get it to this value right so the disadvantage of linked list is random access is not possible right so basically we have discussed few advantages and disadvantages of linked list over arrays right advantages dynamic size easy insertion and deletion and disadvantage is random access is not possible right so basically this was introduction to linked list um, in the next video we'll be learning how to create a linked list right uh, uh, along with the code we'll uh, learn that and if you found the video helpful please like it and please subscribe to the channel uh, hit the bell icon and if the video was helpful please share with your friends uh, meet you in the next video